August is Appendix Cancer Awareness Month. Prominent buildings will turn their lights amber to shine a light on this rare yet life-threatening disease that often has vague or no symptoms. Appendix cancer incidents have risen over 200% in recent years, and as it is rare, correct diagnosis and treatment can be delayed for years. Early detection is crucial. Visit acpmp.org to learn the symptoms and to find out how you can support awareness efforts. That's acpmp.org. Thank you, voice girl, and welcome once again to another edition of the Man Space Podcast. Now, this is the voice of Russ, and with me, as always, is my co-host, who's much happier than Diddy these days, the one and only, <laughs> Big Les. Hey! <laughs> What's, What's up, bro? On, man? Nanu, nanu. <laughs> <laughs> The Mork and Mindy, right? That's it. That's it. Okay. Right there, okay. I had That's to think. It. I had to think when you did it. And I was like, I know this. I know this. And when you, you threw in the my, nanu nanu, Doctor okay. Spock. Okay. Yes. Yeah. He didn't say that. <laughs> he didn't do. He didn't do the well, Doctor Spock though, did he? No, nah, he did. No, nah, that was just my homage to you know Leonard Nimoy. Yeah, but I mean, you mixing characters. But what did, what did he do? He did some sort of hand signal. I don't know. I don't remember. I just remember okay. nanu nanu. Now, now you even got me down this rabbit hole. Now I'm going to be obsessed and try to figure this out because I don't remember. I remember watching the show, but now I got to figure out the hand signal. Oh, man, don't got it. You know how I am, Les. I'm going to be on Google the rest of the episode. I know. I already know. I got you. Hey, that's that's like that's like the one who shall not be named. You just just throw a carrot out there. He just run down the whole lane. You right, know, right. It don't even right. matter what kind of carrot you throw out. He just going <laughs> after carrot, <laughs> carrot, dogs, cats. It don't matter. He just <laughs> <laughs> he just throw it out there. He chasing out there. Oh, that's hilarious, bro. Man. That 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 guy is something else. Yeah, yeah, for so, real. What's up, brother? On on, on to other stuff. Uh huh. Um, have you ever just wondered, like, you know, those things? You remember Arsenio Hall had this segment, things that make you go, mm. Mm. yeah, 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 yeah. So, yeah, I, I've just been down this rabbit hole of late. It's like, oh lord, oh lord, oh lord. Like, okay, go ahead. Who, who was the first person to grab an onion and say, "This is good." Who's the first person to do that? Like Native who Americans. The first person, who was the first person who discovered there? onions? Right, right. Who who was the who was the person that grabbed some poison ivy and said, "Oh, this is not good. <laughs> this hurts." <laughs> right. <laughs> you know, oh my god! And we have we have mushrooms you can eat and mushrooms uh-huh. you cannot eat that is true so who that was the true. person that ended up saying oh man these are good these are good these are good oh crap. you know who was that person who died you know? in, yeah. in in the discovering you know. of mushrooms right like mm-hmm. who's the person that sat there and mixed the ingredients to come up with ranch dressing right for the first wow. time wow who came up with that somebody creative Right. It was good because it whoever, was good because whoever came up with blue cheese, you're the devil. Need but, to be smacked. Exactly. But whoever came up with that is, I mean, it's genius. Right. right. Oh man. Just I like, have the answer for you. Okay. You wouldn't, you ain't gonna believe this one. All right, I'm listening. Onions mm-hmm. were discovered and began eating wild onions. The excuse me. It's believed that humans discovered the beginning eating wild onions long before farming and uh, were invented, likely as a part of a prehistoric diet. Hmm. Interesting. 
originating in the Central Asia, while others suggest they were first grown in Iran or Uzbekistan. Mm. I was all wrong. I said Native American. I I thought it came from uh, Asian culture, but yeah. I, mm-hmm. When you said Native American, I just decided to roll with you on that one. The Pilgrims brought onions to the north to North America on the Mayflower. Really? That's that, that's that, that's what so, I said. Oh, so you give us some land, we'll give you onions. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> and steal everything else. <laughs> <laughs> Did, fair, that seemed like a fair trade, you know. Yeah. Like, Matter of fact, here's the play. Here is scurvy, <laughs> right? Here's, here's STDs. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> that's, that's, you know, we'll kill you off with all this stuff that we can live with, you know, and then take. Right. Your, oh my God! Okay, that's but, ranting. But but <laughs> going down this rabbit hole, yeah. Like, who was the person that decided to mix Oreos and Coca-Cola? Food alert. Food alert. The Newsmix podcast is talking about food again. Food alert. Food alert. (laughs) Don't do it to me. Please don't tell me. Don't tell me you're about to try it right now. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> yes. Is that, is that cherry flavored Coke and Oreos or just straight up Coke and Oreos? It's just Coca Cola and Oreos, man. I, man, I swear you find the damn with snacks with popping candy in the middle. Yes. Yes. So I was I, I saw this online and I'm mm-hmm. like, there's no way we're gonna get this here anytime soon, right? I, I got some trips to the northeast that I, I got some trips to the go find coming up. Yeah. I was gonna find them somewhere up there. I knew we weren't gonna get them down here. Mm-hmm. I was I went to go meet our guy Trevor, right? Yeah, and uh I'm sitting there waiting on him and I went into the gas station and uh I saw they had the Oreo soda, right? Yeah. So they have they have a, a Coke they Zero. A Coke Zero Oreo flavor. Oreo flavor, right? So I got it. I posted it. I posted a picture of it on the on the you did. Instagram. Yes, yes, sir. Yes, it's sir. It's quite good. It is quite good. It tastes just like the cookie portion, the chocolate cookie portion. Yeah. Of of, of but, Oreo. But a soda. Yes. But with it, no it, with it, no sugar. No sugar. Zero sugar. Because that's the you know, whatever, that's, whatever they put in it to give it its sweetness. It's sweetness yeah. Zero. But but yeah, it was a Coke Zero with, with and it was quite good. Then a couple of days later, mm. I'm I'm walking through the grocery store and out the corner of my eye, I see these bad boys. Yes. See, I, so I, I I live in Hickville, so they're not gonna have no progressive snacks. <laughs> <laughs> So, Aggressive snacks ain't gonna work here. So I I, I have it here. Oh, on on the one side. Nice packaging. Nice nice cream filling. They kind of look like a little bit like double stuff. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like Oreo on the other side, you know. Mm-hmm. So it's representing the Coke bottle on the outside. Mm-hmm. You know, and, and you know you got to do it the right way. I mean, you, you I'm like, pop. You yeah, got to right. pop them. You got to pop them, right? Yeah. Uh huh. That's a regular side. Yeah, that's the regular side there. You got to get close to the mic so the mook gang can, you know, hear you crunching. And we might get... <laughs> mook, mook gang. Yeah, the mook, mook bang. That's, that's still... You know exactly what I was talking about. <laughs> mook gang, muck bang, whatever. Muck bang, muck bang. But, you know, going, for, you going go. for the cream. Going for the cream. All right. I think I might be yeah, I might need a sense of me licking the cookie here. I mean, like... <laughs> <laughs> it could be some of the old sexy music playing in the background. <laughs> uh, 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 oh, got the little bit of the Pop Rocks candy up in the middle. Give Ooh. you that. The, Ooh, that's the an added effect. surprise. 
Yeah, yeah it gives you the effect. Oh, give the effect of the, of the, of the, of the drinking soda. the soda. Yeah, soda. Yeah, 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 yeah. So and for I, our up north people happened. drinking pop, there you go. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. So I feel that all in the back of my throat. There, it's just popping. Mm. Yeah, I hear it under my headphones, which is really tripping me out. <laughs> Luckily, we're a family show. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> now, what does the red cookie taste like? This well, tastes you, more like Coke. You damn near cleared all the, the, the cream off of that bad boy. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And it, ain't it nobody seen nothing. That's right. I hit it with my hand. You know, <laughs> I was trying I was trying to keep it PG for the family. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's called greedy. You just know how to get every ounce of it. <laughs> <That's> it. <laughs> oh. The red oh. has the uh the Coke taste to it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you got yeah. the Coke taste on the red, the mm -hmm. fizz from the filling, mm -hmm. and the Oreo chocolatey mm -hmm. side from the other side of the cookie. Yes. I would take those over a regular Oreo any day. Really? Yes. Mm -hmm. See, I'm not a big fan of the, uh, the of regular, or regular yeah. Oreos. See, see, with me, I used to be. Mm -hmm. Until I found out eating too many of them on a weekend, what it does to your insides. Yeah. That's nasty. <laughs> you had a, you had a, uh, what's, what's the, a bubble maker. You yep. know, go the <laughs> yes. the, the bubbles was popping. Hey, hey, they, they were popping, but they, they look just like the Oreo color. <laughs> so. Horrible. Needless to say, I was not a um, big Oreo fan. Like, I, if I got into the mood for them, every now and then, if I saw like mm -hmm. something different, I may try it. Yeah, but I was more of like the the golden Oreo ones. You know, yeah. I like those. I, I always felt the chocolates make your breath stink. Mm. You know, you, mm. you they just they it was real. It was real, real strong on your palate. Mm. Okay, you know, yeah. So that that was my that was always my thing. So I, I yeah. didn't. I didn't mess with them like that that much. Yeah. But but them I, golden I, ones. Yeah, them golden them, ones, whatever. Them golden ones. Yeah. That's my thing right there. Yeah. Yeah. I like, I like those. I was always a big fan of the peanut butter ones. I, I love peanut butter yeah. anyway. Yeah, you like so. yeah, you're you everybody should know you are yes. a peanut butter fan. Yes, everybody. I am. I am. Yeah. I love my wife butter. is my wife's a peanut butter fan too. You know, that's mm -hmm. She just yeah. get she go get the, the thing of peanut butter, man, in a spoon, bro. Mm -hmm. I'm like, what is your issue, man? Do you have problems? Are you psychotic? I saw something. something. And, and I I think it, it says something about, you know, a spoonful of peanut butter at night supposed to help you sleep better or something like that. Or whatever, you know. I don't believe that. I don't believe that because you know, that's when she be eating and when she ain't damn sleep, you know. <laughs> Sitting up in the bed, all you hear, all you hear, the spoon going across that tip peanut butter. You got peanut butter stuck all into the top of the roof of your mouth, you know, and then, and then you got a third noise. <laughs> yes. She needs something to drink yes. behind it. And I was oh. like, why, why you put yourself through torture like that? Yeah. But then she gets on me because, see, I eat sunflower seeds like that or peanuts like that. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I got, I, I buy a big thing of peanuts, man. My hand going it every night before going mm -hmm. to bed. She was like, what's the difference? You eating peanuts and I'm eating peanut butter. I was like, I don't know. Shut up. Don't talk to me. Eat your peanut butter. You know, and I, I'm, I'm hitting my peanuts. But before, wash my hands. I'm in the bed. I'm gone. See, I'm, night, night. I'm a sunflower seed guy, but I do it when I'm driving. Like if I got long yeah. distances to drive, I'm gonna do yeah. sunflower seeds and and yeah. I'm gonna shoot them out the window. You know, I didn't got lazy, man. I done found that they sell them in a little container, just the seeds, lightly salted and crisp, and you just pull <laughs> pull the little tab back. And you just hold the thing and go. Oh, I got a whole handful in one thing. So I buy two and three of them at one time. Wow. 
because I'll eat right. them during the day. But that mm. keeps me from eating all the bad stuff too, though. Yeah, that's that is true. And and that's where yeah. I feel like when I'm driving, because you know, a lot of times I do all the driving. Yeah, you know? me too. And, me too. And so it's like I gotta stay awake. And you know, when I'm when I'm doing long trips, I like mm-hmm. to have the inside circulation turned off. I need that the, the fresh outside air. air. Yes, it. fresh air is supposed to keep. Yeah. Well, of course, we always hit some spots. Oh, uh, can, we, uh, can we turn off? Uh, can we turn that? Uh, it stinks. <laughs> uh, yes. Right. So, are you over there passing gas? Uh, uh, I'm like, no, it's outside. So it's like I get tired. So I have to sit there and you know do sunflower seeds because I don't want to do. Energy drinks all day. Yeah, and, nah, and, nah, you can't. I do don't want to. Yeah, especially yeah. like on long road trips. Like we just came from Nashville this past yeah. weekend, and I got one of those C four energy drinks. Yeah, man, when that thing kicked in, like my skin was itching. Oh like, no! All, all up and down. I like. Yeah, I, 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 I knew that this would happen. Like, I would take pre workout fuel when I would go to the gym, mm-hmm. and I tried C four. Yeah, and that and that happened to me with the pill. So I'm like, I know this is gonna happen with the energy drink, but yeah, when I'm looking at what was there, like this was that's like, what was available. It was the only thing that was available that I felt would work. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. and so I I got it, and yeah, I, <laughs> I was about to pull my skin off, man. I'm like, get me out these mountains. Um, oh my god, y'all got to move, man. And the, and the mountains are horrible, man. Yeah, well, they not that way. They not too too bad. Well, we you know we went um, we went coming up through Cherokee, going yeah, there. going across yeah, going going through North Carolina side and and mm-hmm. and into Tennessee. But then we left coming out. We went down to Chattanooga and down through Georgia. On the oh, way out okay, okay. And came around that way to come so back. So you went around the bottom of the mountain, yes, instead of going yes. over the top of it, right? Yeah, yeah, right. yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So it it wasn't as bad, but it, it was, was a little bit longer was, drive, though, wasn't it? Only, actually, it was shorter. Um, in time wise, it was something mm. that was going on in the interstate, so it was shorter on time wise to go. Around. Really, go around? Yeah, it was twenty miles longer in in mileage. But oh, it was, but it was, but it was all, but it was all yeah. interstate. So, yeah. and mm-hmm. it was, yeah, there's not as hilly and stuff. And yeah. You gotta go around curves and all of that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because the only bad spot I hit, of course, is Atlanta. Yeah, you know, Atlanta is Atlanta is, is Atlanta. Atlanta. Yeah, you got to you know. go through there in the middle of the night. Mm-hmm. Yeah, either the middle of the night, and I'm talking even from twelve to four a.m. You got yeah. a small window to get through there. You got a small window. Yep. Yeah. Yep. But oh. I mean, it, it wasn't that bad though. But you know, mm-hmm. that C four just just did me in though. Really? Yeah. Uh, I drink that. Sometimes I drink that. Uh, the monster and the white can. Yes, it's, it's I, I do that. Free. Yeah, it's got the yep. vitamins in it. That kind of uh, helps me out. But then I start drinking another. I start drinking two and three of them. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Right? So it's it's not. No, it's not. I. Good. There was one that came out for a little while. I think it was called Venom. Mm. And I, I so. tried I remember, it. I remember that, yeah. man. And the crash I had off of that one, like mm. I literally almost bounced my head off my desk. <laughs> <laughs> it, it just all of a sudden at once, just oh yeah. Like, it's amazing. Just, it's amazing what they can do for a very short period of time. Yeah, you know. Yeah. And just think, when I was drinking like that, mm. that's what I'd have with my vodka. Mm. You were Red that. Bull and Vodkas? Red Bull and Vodkas, man. I've never done that. I've never. never. I, I just I just felt like there was no way I could do this. Bouncing off of every wall. You hear me? Mm. See, I'm not one of those guys that drinks and want to go sit down in the corner. I'm I'm a I'm a friendly drinker. Mm. So I get excited, yeah. smiling, dancing, you know, and I drink about four or five, six, ten of those. It's over. Mm. See, no. I'm a warm nature purchase person anyway. Yeah. So I I start to sweat real easy. Mm-hmm. So I get to drinking. Yeah, it's a, it's a wrap. So I'm gonna <laughs> go find somewhere to chill because I will be soaked. 
You know, and I don't so, care nothing about it. Let's yeah. get soaked together. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> I got it. Woo! Yeah! Mm-hmm. Having a great time. Yeah, mm-hmm. I've always been that chill guy in the corner. Yeah, Man. I'm chill, but not like you. You you are absolutely chill. Yeah. You put us you put us both in a room, you'll be able to tell us both apart immediately. <laughs> you yes. know what I mean? Because yeah. I'm, I'm working the crowd, talking to people, you know, having a good time. Mm-hmm. You just sitting back watching the whole room mm-hmm. and you're like, okay, don't trust that one. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Don't know about that one. Yep. Mm-hmm. Let's get over here. Get back over here. That's <laughs> right. Pull, Stop up, that. pull them back and check. Get off of the table. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I know I told this story back in season one, but <laughs> it, it's still funny. The the funniest thing was we were out at a party in California. Les and I were out there. And I'm having a conversation with this guy the night the night of the party. Yeah. The next day, the guy sees Les at <laughs> breakfast. And he picks up the conversation that he was having with me. Yes. With yes. And yes. I'm sitting across the room watching this whole thing go down uh-huh. just laughing yeah it's it's, it's like, i still it's, don't I, know yeah. how people used to get us confused all the time i don't know how that happens it, it was it was always you're amazing full, to me. you're a full what six six inches taller than me mm-hmm. seven inches taller than me I it ain't that much, but still. <laughs> you six what? Six five? Five. Yeah. Okay, so five inches. I'm six foot. Yeah. So yeah. there it is. Still, you're taller than me. Yes. We're not uh, even the same complexion. I was about to say, you're lighter than me. Yes. You know uh, what I'm I saying? Am, you know, I'm peanut butter. <laughs> and you, 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 you're the you're Oreo. Out of the old Oreo. <laughs> <laughs> oh, how did I know that was coming? <laughs> Always comes back to food. But still, but st- I mean, there's some stark differences. Yes. You know what People I mean? People would constantly come up to me yep. and say, Les. Yeah. And I'm like, I'm not less. I'm not yeah. less. Except for yeah. that one girl. You know, I was yeah, less. Yeah, but- I <laughs> Are you? Yes, I am. Yes, you. Yes. <laughs> and I think I happened to walk by and I was looking and I was like, hmm, okay. And I just kept going. <laughs> you over there pretending to be me. That's right. <laughs> I get it though. But old buddy was just, I don't know what, I think you guys have a conversation about IT or something like that. It was and football. It was that. That's what it was. It was football. Yes. I was just like, what? Huh? Okay. I'm not yeah. an Alabama fan. Yes. Yes. Mm-hmm. So I didn't put it together until way later. <laughs> I was like, oh, my God. This yeah. guy. That's right. But it is what it is. It is what it, it is. What it is. But... No. <laughs> let's go to break, reset, and All let's right. come back good. and talk about some of the events from the day. Oh, good, good, good. So we're back. I'm sitting here doing my serving size. So serving size is actually two cookies. I have two. never once read that on the back of an Oreo box to see because you ready. didn't care. You didn't no, care, you sir. Care. Sir, you, you normally grab at least four to five automatically. Yeah. I and grab half the sleeve. Up, I think it's six, and yeah. then I keep it moving. I would always grab four, maybe five, but four, and then I come back later on and get four more. Get but the- yeah. 
Yeah. Serving <laughs> size is actually two on these. I wonder how, what it is on regular Oreos, but on these, it's only two. So I'm on two. I'm done. I pushed the bag away. And uh, yeah, we're going to proceed you, on. If you could keep that up, that would be great. I it can't. Would be. I would eat two. And then I would be like, how many more minutes can I have another serving size? <laughs> I know, right? So uh, me and uh, Trevor, right? I, yeah. I got Trevor, right? Y'all, y'all, y'all know him from Righteous Relentless. And <laughs> Trevor, you know, we've we've sparked up a really good friendship over the years, mm-hmm. right? You know, he he's he's like my little brother. We we talk. It's almost every day that we're texting something back and forth. Yeah, right? yeah. But um, so he's got onto this little health kick, right? So we're like, all right. Okay. So I'm I'm you know I'm your big brother. I'm gonna work with you. So let's let's start this whole little challenge. And I'm gonna open this up. Well, I'm gonna find something. I'm gonna open this up to the Man Space Nation for people that want to join into this. But okay, we just, okay. we started this whole walking challenge, right? Mm-hmm. Making sure that you get you know your steps every day. Five, so five, I'm like, hey, steps, whatever. Yeah. I'm like, hey, you got a smartwatch? Yes, I got a smartwatch. You know, get your smartwatch out. Oh, I got to do it. not. You know, first the excuse. Nope, 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 nope. No excuses. Do it. Wear your smartwatch, and then you know. Let's get your step count in, right? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I said, you got till 10 o'clock to let me know that you made your step count. He's already made his step count. Yeah. I'm going to be walking <laughs> as soon as we finish. Because <laughs> I ain't made mine yet. Hey, 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 you need to walk through servant counts with that servant count yeah, on. Yeah, so I, I think I, I, I might be able to get one more cookie in there. And I was about to say, go ahead and just get you two down. more. You know what I'm saying? That know, gives right? more motivation to get rid of that. You know, you gotta get you gotta, you gotta walk at least ten thousand steps. Yeah, so we're gonna work our way into that one. Okay. So we said we said we so what start. goal are y'all at right now? We gotta so, keep track of this. So so the goal because both of us are in situations where we work from home. So it's mm. like you know, it's different than like if you're working in the office or something like that, where you're up and a little bit more mobile. But it's mm-hmm. like most of the time we're working from home, so you know, right now, since this is, you know, the first week, you know, it's 6,000. So we said, we're going to do 6,000 for about a month and then go to 7,000. But if okay. you go over, great. You know, if you make 10,000, great. But the goal right now is six. Yeah. And I, ha- I hadn't hit six today. Uh, and I put my watch up as soon as I woke up and put two feet on the ground. I usually never do this. And that's part yeah. of the reason why I never hit, you know, 6,000 in a day. It's like, I don't put my watch on until I get ready to leave the house. So today, mm. for the first time, as soon as I put my feet, I put my watch on. I'm mm-hmm. not one of those that like to sleep with the watch because I'm always afraid I'm going to dial somebody. Nah, I, I don't, yeah, I don't sleep with mine yeah. on at all. So, so, yeah. um, Let me look yeah, at mine I, today. I, I'm about 2,000 short right now. And so I'm going to have to Ooh. get out here and go walking as um, soon as we finish recording here tonight. Okay. Well, I'm at 42. You're better than me. Yeah, so You're better I'm than me. So I, I got some work 42. to put in. Two, 2.09 miles. Huh. I'm at 39.28. Oh, well, I can't think that far. Hey, when Trevor texted me two hours ago, I was just at three. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you did some hell of a making up. Yeah, you did some hell of a making up. No, and that was that was just me in the kitchen. I yeah, was just dinner. back and forth, back and forth, back yeah, and forth. back and forth, and coming up and down the stairs. You know. Yeah, I was, I, I'm. You want to hear something funny? So last week, mm-hmm. I was in. I was. We were. I was in the corporate office, right? Yeah. And our and our corporate floor is the tenth floor. Mm-hmm. Okay, they had a big meeting going on in the lobby, so. The elevators are right next to the lobby. So I, I decide I'll just take the steps down. Yeah. Right. My parking deck that I park on is, is floor three, right? So three to 10, that's seven. So I walk down seven flights of steps. Mm-hmm. At least it's down. This is down. I ain't got to the other part yet. Right. Mm-hmm. So coming down seven flights of steps, I was like, oh my God. I'm like, who gets tired coming down flights of steps? Right. Right. 
I could open up the door to go out into the hallway. Your boy walking like, like you know, the car <laughs> ran out of gas. <laughs> and I just came down seven flights of steps. Okay, I'm like this, <laughs> like you know, the car won't go into to drive. <clears throat> I walk out to the vehicle. Finally, I got it together a little bit because I seen somebody watching. I bet they was like, "Whoa, is he retarded?" I mean, or is he challenged? <laughs> So I get to where I'm going. I stand there for a second. I rest. I'm like, what is going on, right? Mm-hmm. I ain't, I'm not a pawn, right? I used to run these steps like this. Okay? Yeah. I go back in. Think about it. Oh, man. They probably still in the meeting. Mm. I open up the door, right? I open up the door to the, to the steps. I look. I go up about two or three, bruh, bruh. I about came back down and said, uh, and sat there. You know, I, I went up. I had to go back down, man, to get on the elevator and be embarrassed coming out the elevator because he go, because wow. he go, ding. I was like, oops. <laughs> I, I walked out of that boy and made a sharp right. No. Back turned to everybody. I don't care who looked at me. But uh <laughs> yeah, I gotta get I gotta get it back together. Yeah, man. Dog, I gotta get it together. I you know, in the building I was in, mm-hmm. you, you know the building I used to work in, yeah. We used to be down in the basement. Mm-hmm. And so we our boss used to not want us to take the elevator. We always had to take the stairs. So we got to the point where we would run the stairs mm-hmm. and do what we needed to do and then come back down, right? Yeah. So I had to have a meeting. All in, And most of the time, if I did it, if I ran it, I was running to the second floor and then back down yeah. to the basement. So mm-hmm. it's three floors, right? Right. I had a meeting on the fourth floor. So mm. it's the basement, then four floors. And so yeah. I ran all the way up. Mm-hmm. And I go into this lady's office and she wants to start talking Immediately, <laughs> I need my time. five, my five, ten the minutes. Time. Every question she just asked me, we can't. Mm-mm. I wouldn't say nothing, uh, and I'm sitting. There. I'm telling you, them steps are a monster, man. Yeah, man. I gotta yeah. get back to it. I gotta get back to it, bro. I, I ain't gonna be no weekly. First right. of all, just coming down seven flights of steps, bro. Should I should not have hurt me like it did. Man, I went to a customer. Uh, mm-hmm. this was just yesterday. Mm-hmm. Right. And it was a church, right? And two stories. Right? Yeah. And the guys that are showing me around, they're the, they're on the board of the church, right? Yeah. Two two older gentlemen. They they had to be 74 and 78. Yeah. Right? Flying and, around. No, they they just, you know, barely yeah. moving down. So the guy, we get to the stairs and we're about to go back down. They like, oh no, you go on ahead, youngin. Go on ahead. No, 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 no. Y'all go ahead. Y'all go ahead. <laughs> now, I didn't want this, I didn't want them to see. I'm walking just like them. Like them. <laughs> 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 yeah, that penguin trot. Yeah, man. Like, yeah, shoot, I'm trying I, to hold I, on too. Yeah. I feel you, dog. I, I told, I came home, and I told my wife. I said, I'm embarrassed. Yeah, and she was like, Why? I told her the story, and I thought she was gonna call her long up, mm. and she laughed at me so hard. <laughs> Just a couple weeks ago, we we was we went someplace, and she was like, It's only four floors. I was like, Yeah, I ain't doing it. Yeah, I'm gonna take the elevator. But now I'm going to start climbing these steps, man. I'm going to start climbing these flights. I went and I got, and a lot with me is that, like, the cartilage in my knees is almost gone. Yeah, I got I got a bad knee, too. And so, yeah. and, and, and for me, it's both of mine mm-hmm. now. And so I went and I got the injection filler. Yeah. And it only lasts for a certain amount of time. But, mm-hmm. you know, it's expensive. And so yeah. when I tried to go get round two, 
the insurance wouldn't pay for round two. No. So I'm like, you know, I'm not about to drop, you know, four grand out my pocket. Right. You know, but th for those for that two months, mm -hmm. man, that was the best two months I didn't had in a long time. <laughs> I, I was about to dog. I'm out there doing layups, dog. I'm, right. I'm, on, the, I'm on the court. I felt good, man. I'm out yeah. there with a little twenty-some year old, bro. Right? Yeah. Like, Until, bum, Until bum, bum, bum. Till it wore off. It wore yeah. off, and it was like, bro. And when it wore off, I felt worse than I did before I had it. Right. Yeah, because you got to taste of how good it felt. Yeah, man. You know. Yeah, so. Hey, I'm trying to tell you, I got these these pads I bought. Uh, excuse me, from Home Depot, bro. When I was putting the floors in the old house, yeah, I've never ever in my life not used those on my knees. Yeah. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I just bought me uh, a new set. Yeah, I just bought a new set because yeah. we. Ooh, I'm about to rip out this carpet upstairs. Yep. I'll put it in yep. hot woods. Yep. Yeah. You, so you know exactly how. I, you know, my wife's like, "Well, we. What's the we?" we Bro, we ain't friends. We didn't do it last time. <laughs> it was me. Yeah, we ain't <laughs> friends. <laughs> right. I like to say who. If you say we, I say who. You know, if you want to be <laughs> French, right. I want to be owl. You know right. What <laughs> That's what I do now. I'm gonna try that. Yeah. I'm gonna try that. Let's see how well that works off. See, see how quickly I'll be, I'll be at your door. Les, Les, let me borrow the couch. Les, I'll be like, who? Who? <laughs> we didn't work. And who didn't work? Who we didn't work, Les? I need the couch. I got a bed for you, dog. I got a bed for you. But for a very short time. It ain't gonna be long. <laughs> This is a big yeah. Hey, but yeah. uh, at the time that we are recording this episode, yes, sir. Um, Diddy. Oh God, he was arrested just yesterday. So this is at the time we're recording this episode. Yeah. So by the yeah. time this airs, it's probably be some old news and yeah, and be people some new move. news. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, he was denied bail today. Yes, he was. Said he must remain in jail. Yeah. So man. he he was been to this point. He's been working with everybody. So that's why he he came back to New York. Mm -hmm. He's not trying to hide. He's trying to you know claim his innocence and say, hey, I I didn't do nothing. I didn't do nothing wrong. But they said no because he's had. Contact with witnesses. Yep. And so they denied his bail. Threatening contact with witnesses. Like that. Yes. Yes. Did you see some of the stuff that was in this indictment, bro? Yeah. I was just, I, I, I was just like, some parts of me want to say, "Come on now." Mm -hmm. Then other parts of me is like, "This dude lost his damn mind." Right. It makes you wonder, right? If you go back to making it a band, right? Mm -hmm. With 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 mm -hmm. the rap group, the band. Yeah. So you remember when they did season two and everybody came back except for the one except dude from one Miami. guy. Yeah, yep. he's like, nah, I'm out. I wonder yep. what he knew. What he, he knew a lot. I bet you he knew a lot because he fought with Diddy all the time. Mm. He fought with Diddy all the time about his dumb rules and yeah, all these different things. Like, and certain people could do certain things. You know what I mean? I bet you they I I bet you money they could tell you a whole lot of things that they yeah. seen and saw and heard. Yeah. Well, you see the uh the other girl from Danny D. Kane and uh what was the other group that Diddy formed where she wow. said that uh he he uh he beat her too. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, she was in both groups, wasn't she? Yeah, she was in both groups. Yeah, she was in both it groups. It was him and the two girls. And, yeah. Um, oh yeah, Danny D. Kane was all the girls, mm -hmm. and he was in. Um, and they made they made a couple of nice songs too. Yeah, yeah. I can't remember the name of the group now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but come on, bro. 
My thing is this. You can only get away with stuff for so long. Right. I don't care who you are. You're only going to get away with it for so long. And once right. you've done it to so many people for so long, it is going to come out. So there's a, a part of me that feels at this point is a lot of people were nervous. And when they realized, when they saw who all was involved and it wasn't certain higher ups that he had information on, and he still might have information on people. Oh, like I'm that. sure he does. But from what they've taken, and it's not the higher, higher ups that, that he's gotten involved mm -hmm. in this, they're not worried about prosecuting him. Mm -hmm. I think if they would have had, if he would have had certain people involved in some of his stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Some A-list celebrities and right. owners and CEOs and politicians. Politicians. And yeah. It, yeah. It, it would be, it would be a lot easier for him to get off. Right. Let's just say that much. It wouldn't even be the fact that he would get off. He wouldn't even be indicted. Yeah, that's true. I think he would have been sitting out there the whole time. Because mm -hmm. if you look at uh, Hugh Hefner. Epstein. Hugh, Hugh, uh, well, they got Epstein because uh, he, 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 the information he had wasn't going to take down the right people. Mm -hmm. Whereas with Hugh Hefner, on the other oh. hand, the Playboy Bunny, the ranch, or oh, play, yes. the Playboy, uh, the, yeah, mansion. The mansion, yeah. Hugh Hefner had a lot of stuff on a lot of people. Athletes, politicians, uh, um, uh, movie stars, they yeah. all were involved. Yeah, and they and I hate to say it, I admit, they, they lived a long time scared. Yes. You, you, you think about that now. Yeah. They lived a long time scared. He was still having parties up to just a few years ago. Yeah. Come on now. The they went after Bunny. Larry Flint, but they left him alone. Yeah, they did. Because he, 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 could, he could expose some things. Right. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I remember seeing them hustling magazines when I, when I was a kid. Yeah. Yeah. Boy, I tell you, we'd all go running in the alley with Somebody yeah. stole their, their brother's hustling magazine. Maybe all, all, all of us be in the alley looking at it. You know. Oh, I'm only, man. I'm only reading the articles, Bob. I'm yeah. only reading the articles. Yeah. Oh, my God, man. Yeah, those was the days, bro. Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> I, I, I was about to go down the rabbit hole, man. Hey, I saw I saw the wheel click. That boy boy was like, and he was yep. like, no, 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 no. No, no, stop. No, no, no. <laughs> Reel that on back. Reel that on back. Oh. But um, what what do you think? You know, and there's not enough information out yet at the time that we're recording this. And I and I keep yeah. prefacing that at the time that we're recording this. He was just indicted last. He was arrested last night, indicted, and then denied bail today. So that's as far as we know of what's going on. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, what do you think is going to happen with him? I think they're going to go through all the motions of it. I don't, I really don't think he's going to get convicted of it. Mm. Mm -mm. Because if they had a strong enough case, if they had these freak off recordings, stuff like that, they would have been got him, you know, on a federal level. When they raided his house in Miami and L.A. at the same time, if they truly had enough, they would have got him right then. It wouldn't have took this long. Right. You know, but but at the same time. You see, they changed his uh, indictment. It's now Rico. Mm. So that's different. Because Rico, they just have to prove your involvement in right. these things. Right? Because right. they created that for the gangsters. They mm -hmm. could never pin anything on them back on in the day. Right, right. So they, all they had to do was prove the involvement in it. And you orchestrating 
or mm-hmm. paying for, or you know, right. or telling somebody to do something. Mm-hmm. If they could prove that, they can go after him for the Rico. And I think right. that's that's a lesser, how not a lesser, it's a it's a different way. The of burden of proof is out. much the easier. burden of proof is much easier yeah. in a Rico yeah. case, you know, because it was meant for drug dealers and, and gangbangers where the smarter ones don't keep things in their name. Right. They don't have things around them. Speaking you know? of keeping things in their name, and I'm going to switch off mm-hmm. of Diddy for the moment, yeah. but did you see this with Tom Brady? You know, Tom is going through <laughs> his divorce. Everything right in now. his mama name. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Yes, hey, he, he, was, he was hanging out with the brothers, dog. <laughs> yeah, I'm like that was absolute genius, that's classy. That's that's yes. Put everything in your mama's name. Can't nobody touch it because it ain't yes. in your name. It's all right. in your mama's name. But he, mm-hmm. you know, if if you if you think like that and you're rich, you know that's a positive. Because here's the thing, you, I'm rich, right? I get sued, mm-hmm. okay. But doing whatever the things may be, they can go after. Look, let's, let's just, I'm gonna hate to say this, but our, our, our boy OJ. Yeah. OJ won his trial. They couldn't prove he murdered nobody, but he lost the civil suit. Yes. But if all of that stuff would have been in his mama's name, mm-hmm. he still have his Heisman's. Yeah. He'd still have all his memorabilia. He would still have his fortunes. He would have still had all of those things. But sometimes you can't, you can't, you can't tell an old horse, you know, how to drink water or eat hay. They've been doing it for so long. But somebody got to Tom first and said, hey, brother, protect yourself. That's it. Don't have don't have nothing in your name. Mm -hmm. You know? I mean. We we we've seen two big two big cases, right? Mm-hmm. You got you got Diddy, who had recordings of everything to protect himself, because yes. if you snitch, I'm a drop dime on you. Oh, right. You tell him what I did. Well, let's talk well, about here. Here's what you did. Right? Yeah. Right. I got video proof. Mm-hmm. And you got Tom Brady on the other hand, who hid his stuff by putting it all in his mama's. That's it. Who 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 is the rapper that did the song? Come out, uh, put everything in their mama name. Is that Birdman? Uh, probably. Oh, uh, it was it was uh, Cash Money. It was one of one of them. Everything. In oh, my oh, that's mama. big timers. Yeah, yes, yeah, 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 cash, yeah. Cash Money in my yeah. mama's name. Yeah, ain't got no job. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. the one. Yeah, I mean, but uh, you know, there's other things you can do. You know, mm-hmm. I become a little bit more financially savvy. You know, yes. there's trust and you know things like right. that, and right. and stuff that you can do. And you know, and I'm pretty sure that's what it was. It's yeah. put in a trust, and his mother is the is the uh, executor over his trust. Mm-hmm. You know, so he can't do anything unless he goes to the executor and they give yeah. him a check with his funds. Right. But here's the way. Here's the thing, though. The rich get richer because they know loopholes in the system and they know how to shield their money. Yeah. You know, a a, 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 a um, trust is nothing but a shield over his money. Mm-hmm. Right. So yeah. he's not paying the same taxes as everybody else's is paying. Mm-hmm. He's not doing these things. He only can spend so much money. But hell, <laughs> if if spending so much money is 10 or 15 million dollars a year. I mean, I think I'm good with that. Right. You know what right. I mean? Right. I mean, you, you just got to be. She, she had more money than him. She had. Yeah. 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 Quotation mark. She had, you know, but, you know, they report what they want to report. True. You know True. what I'm saying? So, True. yeah. And, and, and all of these dudes, they know. They know some of the same people in finance, oh, where to go to talk to, go talk to this guy. He's going to mm-hmm. build your company. He's going to shield your money. He's going to make sure that 
you're one of the the largest philanthropists in the tri, you know, in the tri-state area, and it's going to write all of that off at the end of the year, and you'll get that back as a as a huge yeah. tax break on the next year. You yeah. know what I mean? Buying multiple. That's why all of them got Escalades and mm-hmm. big ass trucks and. All these things are written off because now you become your own brand, your own business. Yeah. You know? That's true. Yeah. That is very, very true. Yeah. We gotta learn the laws. That's that's the key. That's the key. You gotta be able to learn how because the system is set up for people system. who are learning it. Right? That's right. If you, if that's you right. want, if you want to do it. You can. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. You can. It's just that you just gotta have the right tools to be able to be out there in, in that in that right pond. Yeah. Like this guy told this this story. He's talking about the sa- the salmon, the salmon fisherman, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Guys out there, he's he's over to fishing sardines, right? Mm-hmm. You know, and, and to really get full off sardines, you gotta catch a lot of sardines. You gotta catch a lot of sardines, yes, sir. Yeah. So, so he's out there and he's fishing with the sardines and he's catching a lot, catching a lot. And he's gotten to the point where he's mastered catching a lot of sardines. Mm-hmm. But he looks up and he sees these guys over here catching salmon. Mm-hmm. Well, you don't have to catch as many salmon as you do sardines. Right. So he wants to go figure out how they do that. But mm-hmm. the tools that he's got, his tools only allow him to catch uh, sardines. Sardines. Yeah. Not, not salmon. So now he's got to go learn from these salmon guys and then get the right tools and get the right education to now he's catching salmon. Mm -hmm. Well, then he looks over and he sees these guys over here. They over there bear hunting. Mm -hmm. You catch a bear, you eating for a long time. You don't have to try, you know, fishing salmon every day. You Mm -hmm. can go, you're going to eat for a while off a bear. Mm -hmm. Well, I need to go figure out how to go catch a bear, but the only tools I got is for a salmon right now. Mm -hmm. So let me go figure out how to catch a bear. Right. Mm -hmm. So he he gets tools, learns how to catch a bear, but realizes that bear hunting is dangerous. (laughs) So I'm going to go get one bear. I'm not going to be greedy and go get many bears. I'm going to go get one bear and then I'm going to go back to my salmon and I'm going to stay over here for a little while until I'm ready to go get another bear. Right. right. That's the thing that we have to realize mm-hmm. with our our uh, lives is that the tools are there. We got to be able to know how to get the tools and, and to that's, get that's the it. bigger game. You don't have to jump in there and go full speed. You don't have to be Diddy and go yeah. buck wild out there. That's so right. You, you jump a little out bit. there, you get your little bit and you get your butt right back out the way. That's right. But see, the problem with most people is. Once they get a taste of it, they get greedy. They get greedy. They get greedy. They get, they greedy. get caught. They the get gluttony. caught. They get yes. snatched up, and that bear is about to tear them up. Tear them up, right? You yeah. don't see that other bear around yeah. the corner because you focus on this bear, but here mm-hmm. come another bear, and that's called mm-hmm. taxes and the U.S. That's government. It. That's it. That's it. That's and they, it. They're gonna they're gonna put a claw in you, a hook in you that you ain't never had in you before in your life. How they say half? They taking it. <laughs> yeah. Taking it. Which, but I was I was talking to a guy, an older an, an older gentleman, and he was like, "Look, man," he was like, "What you doing with your life?" Mm-hmm. We talked a little bit, you know, some things I had going on, and you know, and I wasn't very diverse. And how I was doing things, you know, and he was like, you look, you got to have different streams of revenue coming in. You got to have certain amount, this certain amount of that things that make you money while you sleep. Those are the, mm-hmm. some things that you need to look at, not the primary things you need to look at, but you need to look at some things that that bring you in money while you're not even paying attention to it. Right. You know, yeah. and then you need some things, That's some it. long range, some mid range and some long range goals, short term, yep. mid and long goals, you know, yep. and you can you hit those. And as you keep hitting them, you won't even know that you're hitting them. You just continue right. to go. And before you know, you look back, you've hit your long range goal. He's like, stop. Mm-hmm. Turn mm-hmm. around. Do it again. Mm-hmm. Short range, medium, long, short range, medium, long. It was like you just keep hitting your goals. You start yourself over. You stay mm-hmm. fresh. You learn something every single time. Now, the process might get faster for you, but don't neglect 
that is still a process. You got to go through the process. Yeah. You know, so yeah. <clears throat> he slowed me down a lot and, you know, taught me some things and some things come true. Yeah, you know, absolutely. <laughs> yep. You got to make it. You got to get it how you can, baby. Get it how you live. Yeah. Absolutely. All right, let's go to break and reset. Roger that. Close the show with just a little bit of inspiration. Today, I want to remind you of one simple truth. Don't stop. No matter how tough the journey feels, don't stop. How steep the climb seems, don't stop. Or how distant the destination appears, don't stop. Keep moving forward. It's not about the speed. It's about the consistency, the determination, the courage to take the next step, even when it feels impossible. There are obstacles, setbacks, and moments of doubt. But remember, progress isn't always measured in giant leaps. Sometimes it's the small, steady steps that carry us the furthest. So don't stop. The finish line may be closer than you think. Stay strong, stay focused, and most importantly, keep going. Because every step that you take will be one step closer to your dreams. Remind yourself, you've got this. Man Space Nation, until next time, keep moving forward and don't stop. Man, that, uh, that video is very apropos. I mean about not stopping i mean yeah. don't stop your momentum yeah you can't never do that things are going to get tough things are going to be hard things are going to come at you and you can't stop yeah for real you know the worst thing you can do is stop mm -hmm. any progress is better than no progress Absolutely. one step forward one step forward is better yeah. than never taking yeah. one and so my favorite saying Rome was not built in a day, but it got built. That is it. Amen, brother. That's it. <laughs> Man, Space Nation, we've enjoyed you. And thank you for listening. And get you some Coca-Cola Oreos. Take <laughs> Russ's word on them. <laughs> this is quality stuff. Hey, man. Listen, Coca-Cola. If you want us to endorse you, just let us know. Let us know. I mean, y'all could at least respond. I did tag y'all in the post, dang it. That's it. That's it. Just respond. <laughs> that's all we that's all. That's, listen. That's it. I'll even eat some. Uh-oh. What? What? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my. I gotta go oh. walk some steps, man. I gotta catch uh, up oh, all right, on that note. <laughs> We out of here. <laughs> Thank you for listening to this episode of The Man Space. Whichever platform you listen to us on, make sure you subscribe and don't miss a show. Remember to keep up with all the Man Space updates on our website, themanspacepodcast.com. And you can follow us on Instagram at manspacenat1. Until next time, Man Space Nation, he's Les, I am Russ, and we are out of here. You gotta get close to the mic so the Mook gang can, you know, hear you crunching. What's up, Man Space Nation? Are you tired of unruly bushes that make the Amazon rainforest jealous? Bruh. 
Well, hold on to your grooming gadgets because we've got a game changer for you. Mm. Introducing the official sponsor of the Manspace podcast, Manscaped, and their ticket to a groom galaxy, the Lawnmower 5.0 Ultra. <laughs> Guys, this isn't your grandpa's trimmer. With its advanced dual head system and skin safe blades, the Lawnmower 5.0 Ultra is a precision cutting tool for your personal grooming needs. Say goodbye to all those pesky mishaps and say hello to smooth, irritation free skin every time you trim. And hey, I know what you're thinking, but what about those hard to reach spots? The Lawnmower 5.0 Ultra's ergonomic design and adjustable trimmer guards ensure the perfect shave no matter what the terrain. All right, all right, all right. But wait, there's more. Order now and use our code TMSP20. That's TMSP20 and get 20% off your order and free shipping. Yeah! Go to manscaped.com and get yours today. Guys, don't do it for us. Do it for your balls. 